Dexter is going with his Monarch, who put in a lot of work last week. He said, all right, I'm going to stick with it um, these coming weeks. See how it pans out for me. Let's see what happens uh, tonight. Dexter starting off, really getting some really solid stage control. Letting Zorax know, yeah, I know what you're doing. I'm going to dance around every one of your options. I mean, that's certainly for just like that. One of the mainstays of um, Dexter's play is those running, dancing plays. Just to both mm -hmm. retreat because Marth like is so low in his um, dash animation, yeah. and also to uh, cover space too. So I test for cover Ooh. and misses that tech, and that's going to be the first stock clean. Come that's a Dexter. melee edge guard right there. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty clean. I mean, a melee player counter in the Firefox. Yeah. And Zorax might have thrown the sock away, and Dexter manages to drop that edge guard, and Zorax makes it back to the ledge. Really solid lead from Dexter right now. That said, Zorax is an incredible, can be an incredibly overwhelming and a very technical player. He can hit you once and convert it into way more damage than you would ever think is possible. Yeah, I think Dexter definitely knows that. He's trying to avoid that hit. An up smash was online there, but um, Dexter stuffs out that button, and now he's going to make uh, Zorax pay for it. Up Another there, dancing uh, blade. Really reckless side beat to center stage. He was expecting Dexter to advance a bit. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to advance this yet, but Ooh. the down air to up smash. Finally going to clear out that sock. 60% on Zorax. And let's see if he can uh, prevent some of those unfortunate situations that we saw in his first stop. Nice, another dance play, spacing out to get that tipper. Zorax is getting those hits, but he hasn't been converting a whole lot off of them. I think he recognizes, oh my goodness. That's a thing? I didn't even Ooh. know that was a thing. I, I still don't really know that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll never know. Dexter, though, he's running up, hitting that nair, going for another edge guard, but he's missing these down tilts. But yeah. I don't think he's going to stress out about that much. Well, because not just the most quickly. recent one, but the one before that actually clinks with the down tilt. Ah. Side B. Nice. Jab, jab. To, jab to forward tilt. Good stuff. Yeah, and it looks like Zorax tried to um, like buffer shield there, but he got an air dodge, and yeah. that, landing, that landing lag is going to be a death sentence for him. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's going to be Dexter taking game number one, relatively clean. Zorax did manage to put himself on the board though, and it should be noted that a lot of the um, big openings that Dexter managed to um, like capitalize on right there were given to him. They weren't necessarily taken um, yeah. by him, like himself. Zorax put himself off stage in awkward positions. Uh, he put himself off stage in awkward positions, and like he just died for it. Yeah, the first stock it took a lot of damage. The second one, absolutely. So I, I feel like recognizing that he was being he was um, being outplayed a bit in the whole uh, you know the whole spacing game, saying Dexter just being able to kind of dance right outside that range Fox wants to be in, right in the range Martin wants to stay in. Uh, Zorax exactly. kind of recognizing that, not really getting many uh, significant conversions off of those hits he was getting. Seem to be focusing way more on just keeping center stage and trying to disrupt Dexter's momentum. But the thing is, he didn't really manage to do either there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, center stage was, yeah. he might as well have, like, put Dexter's name in the middle of center stage because yeah. I don't think he gave that up the entire first game. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see um, what uh, Zorax can rewrite in game number two. From the town of City. Zorax probably looking for those early up smash up air kills. There we go. I like how he's using his rapid tap a little bit more this time to just mm -hmm. kind of get him a little bit more stage control each time. Yeah. And there we go. Auto cancel down there. Doesn't get a big conversion and gets punished too. There we go. Dexter is, or Zorax is looking like he's a lot more comfortable this yeah. time. Willing to hit these buttons, the jabs, up tilts. Yeah, he's getting a lot cleaner on these strings. Dexter staying patient though. Another Nair is going to check him down just a little bit, and Zorax keeps on landing these down airs, but this could be a sock. No, he misses Not the quite. last hit. Does the uh, last hit basically a little bit too late there. Ooh. I guess that's a thing. I, I guess it's yeah. a thing. I mean, <laughs> like apparently. I was, I was skeptical the first time, but like the third time yeah. you do jab to down smash at the ledge, I guess that's just a thing <laughs> on fastballers. All right, I got to ask about that later. Well, I don't think the jab even connected it. The jab, uh, the jab clanks with the side beat. <laughs> yeah, but it looked like it looked like Boy. he was still like a relatively similar position. By yeah. the way, I bet he's gonna be looking for that again. So let's. Oh, I'm, point wait, out I'm, and see I'm it. waiting for it. Yeah, absolutely. Right, 
Dexter waiting patiently, knowing Zorax is going to try and cover a get up option. Yeah, just wait until Zorax commits to something. And the way that Dexter's playing right now is one of those ways you can only play when you're comfortable with stage control. Yes. Like, whenever Fox is on the ledge, he's just walking back saying, Alright, I'm winning this in the neutral regardless, so come at me. This is a win for me either way. And Dexter possibly gets shield poke there. Zorax um, sending him off stage and missing a crucial punish. Retreating back to the ledge rather than landing in a forward smash. Oh man, looks like Zorax had the read there, but Ooh, jab to up, up tilt. Good stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, and that was a two stock right there by uh, Dexter to close out that game clean. He just looked mm -hmm. absolutely in control. Absolutely. And Zorax, even though absolutely. he's making like these uh, top eight runs, he's still hitting a couple walls here and there. Yeah. And this is like Dexter might be one of those walls. All right, so thanks for tuning in, everyone, to absolutely, this interview. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, this might be a little bit smaller, but we still got the action. We still got all well, the same old faces you know and love. Just saw two of them on screen, and we're going to get a couple more in just a few minutes. A few more coming up on stream. We are in, what, top four now? Um, I believe so. I'm going to pull up the bracket right now. I just walked in the door right. before I started uh, uh -huh. commentating. <laughs> all right. Let's see who we'll be getting up next. I believe... Joe was trying to set up some dubs earlier. I don't know if that'll be streamed, but yeah. Got Google Maps, I don't want to do it. I want VZ Bootcamp. All right, so, oh, we're waiting right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dexter just took the last set to him. Yep. All right, so, in the meantime, in between time, let's pull up this bracket and see what's up. So. That was one side of winner semis, so Dexter's going to be sitting pretty on winner's finals. Mm -hmm. And the other side of winner semis, we got ZD and Vash. And that's a tri-state Vash, not the um, Vash, um, like the Little Matt Vash. Yeah, yeah. So this yeah, Vash. Yeah, the guy who was just playing Ryu earlier. Yep. Ryu player. Yep. Last I checked, he played Ryu. And if I remember right, he, did he have a cloud as well, or is he solo Ryu? I'm I mean, the real rap, I'm not the one cloud. to ask. Yeah. This is the second time I've been back in the last four months. So, <laughs> I mean, I think it's been longer for Vash, actually, because the last really? time I saw him here, it was like February or something mm. like that. Yeah, it's been a minute. But um, let's take a peek down at the loser side of the bracket. We got uh, Pink Fresh going all corn today, going up against Cathark, making a big loser run, who just beat Hoyo in loser round five. And then we got um, a Scrub Lords team kill, Z-Man and Osiris going down right now, and Blade Knight and Vanilla um, on the other side. So, loser bracket. We'll see who makes it in the top eight. We've still got a little bit more to go before we get into that. See who can pull through those runs. Yeah. I mean, no one wants to call them the shark take and lose bracket. It doesn't matter if you got 37 people or 3,000 people. It's still, you know, a lot scarier than it is in winner's bracket. Oh, yeah. But speaking of scary, we got two players who made really good